Uh, the first time we've got a week next week in Wales and then the following week in Ireland with about half the squad. So there'll be a reasonable amount of preparation for those players and then a couple of days uh, when we come together back in London before we fly out. And really that first three and a half weeks is about getting everything organised for that first test and that's you know, it's going to be the challenge for us and uh, give, giving everyone an opportunity in terms of playing games. Um, but that, that planning and preparation and training leading to the first uh, game is going to be vital. I think it's, a, it's sometimes tough for the players in terms of they know that uh, in the next few days after a big game they're on, they're on the plane and everyone sort of there's a bit of trepidation in terms of not trying to pick up any injuries. Um, but if you go in with that attitude in terms of you know, thinking about the next day or the next couple of days and trying to look after yourself, that's when you're more likely to pick up an injury. So, you know, the advice to those players is just go for it hell, hell for leather. And uh, I think it should be a pretty good battle between, um, you know, two good forward packs in that final. Warren, what is the news on Brian O'Driscoll? Um, the, yeah, the information is just keeping off his feet for 48 hours. And um, it's something that he's had, sort of tends to come once a year sort of at some stage and he normally just uh, an epidural to relieve the, the, the pain and stay off his feet and he, you know, he's hoping to be right for this Friday for the Amlin final so um, you know, fingers crossed everything's going to be okay for him.